Hi, welcome back. Today I'll teach you how to crochet this beautiful top. It's a very easy project to do, so you can do it even if you're a beginner. I will show you every step of the way from the beginning on the brim down here, where we turn it horizontally and then we begin working up the top and decrease until we are at the very top of the top. And then we do the straps and the back side it's completely the same so the front and the back is the same on this top today i will teach you to do this in a size medium if you want other sizes you can follow the link in the description for the pattern where i have four sizes so let me show you how to do it first a little bit about the materials i have used this dk weight cotton yarn it's 100 percent cotton and it's also called a uh, sports weight too. I will write in the description how much you need for this top. I've also used a crochet hook size 3.5 millimeters. Then I've also used some scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in all the ends at the end. And finally, I've used a stitch marker to keep track of my stitches. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And we need to do 18 chains in total. So one, two, three, and so on until you have 18. Four, five, and 18. Then we'll begin working in these chains. So first you skip this first one and move on to the second and then insert your hook through the second chain. Then yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then you created a single crochet. We will do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. So insert your hook through the next chain, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And in the next one, insert your hook, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then you do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. And remember, you skip the first one and we chained up 18. So you should have 17 single crochet when you're all the way across. And then your first row looks like this. You now have 17 single crochet. And you chain one, and then we turn the work. Now we will begin working through the back loop only of the stitch. So you have the front loop in front of you, this loop closest to you, and you have the other loop back here, the loop that is furthest away from you, that is your back loop. We will only be working through the back loop from now on. So still skip the first stitch, this is your turning chain. Go to the second one and then insert your hook only through the back loop of the stitch. Like this. And then do a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Just like a regular single crochet. All right. So again, through the next stitch, only through the back loop of the stitch, then you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. This next one, insert your hook through the back loop only, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And continue all the way across with one back loop single crochet in every stitch. And I recommend you count your stitches that you still got 17 stitches when you're all the way across. And then you have two rows. 
Then again, we chain one to turn the work. And then turn. And then we will repeat row number two for the rest of this part of the top. So skip the first turning chain. Then in the second one, you do a back loop single crochet. So insert your hook through the back loop and single crochet. Insert your hook through the back loop and single crochet. So one back loop single crochet until the brim is done on your top. You will continue until you have 130 rows in total. Then we want to connect the ends and we have the brim of the top right here. We need to connect these two ends. So we take our hook off the loop and then insert it through the loop and the other piece on the opposite side. So you have both layers of the brim. Then you yarn over and pull through both. Then we want to make a slip stitch in every stitch all the way across through both layers so we connect them. So you insert the hook through the layer close to you and through the layer on the opposite side. Then you yarn over and pull through both layers and the loop you already had on your hook. All right. Then insert your hook through the stitch closest to you and the stitch across. Then yarn over, pull through everything. And again, through both layers. Then you yarn over, pull through both layers and the loop on the hook. So just one slip stitch all the way across through both layers to connect the pieces. When you're all the way across, we now have this connected and we want to open it up. So we have this one as the outside of the top. So this is the front side, the right side, and you have this one on the inside. You see it's almost invisible, the seam you just did. And that's what we are going for. So now you chain one to begin the next row. And we will now begin working horizontally along this ribbing. And we will do one single crochet in each of these rows. So you have a row right here and you also have a row in between these bumps. And this is a row, this is a row. And you will do one single crochet in every row. So you should have 130 single crochet when you're all the way around. First, we insert the hook in this row in between. And then do a single crochet. Then we want to do a single crochet in this row. So you insert your hook. And do a single crochet in this row. And then in this row in between and do a single crochet. And there's no right or wrong place to insert your hook. You just have to push in your hook someplace and then do a single crochet. As long as you do it this same place ish on every row. just one single crochet in every row all the way around and you should have 130 single crochet when we are back here. Now we're back where we started and we will complete the row by doing a slip stitch in the first single crochet you did on this row. So insert the hook in the first single crochet and do a slip stitch Then chain one, and then we turn. 
So we will be working in rounds, but we will still be turning at each time we do one row. So we will now work the other way again. Skip the first, whoops, sorry. Skip the first stitch. This was a turning chain. Then in this next, the second stitch, you do a single crochet. So insert your hook through the second one and do a regular single crochet. And then in the next, a single crochet. And then continue with one single crochet in every stitch. When you're all the way around, you will again do a slip stitch in the first stitch you did and then chain one and turn again. So back and forth in rows until you have 10 rows of single crochet. Then we join with a slip stitch again and then chain one and turn. Because we will now be working on the front part of the top, so we will be working back and forth, still in single crochet. So skip your turning chain and do a single crochet in the first stitch. And then continue with one single crochet for half the round. So we have 130 stitches all the way around and half of that is 65. So you do 65 single crochet on this first row of your front piece. I counted uh, 65 and then I left a stitch marker so I don't have to count while crocheting so I can watch TV. But just continue until you have 65 single crochet on this first row of your front piece of your top. And then at the end I remove my stitch marker as my final stitch and do a final single crochet. And then I want to turn the work. Usually we chain one before we turn because we want to keep the same stitch number when going upwards. But for this front panel, we just turn without chaining. So you just turn the work and then skip your first stitch as you usually do. We usually skip our turning chain, but now we'll just skip this first stitch instead and then go for the second stitch and do our single crochet and then one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. When you're all the way at the other end, back here, you do a single crochet in the final stitch and then you turn the work again without chaining. So work your way back and forth just without a turning chain. So you will actually decrease one stitch for every row. So back and forth, turn without a turning chain. And then you continue like that until you only have 25 stitches left on top. And let's see, this measures about 12 centimeters on top. And you see the measurements here. And that's it. Now we want to do the back panel. So you cut the yarn and leave this. And then we want to continue on the back side of the work. So we have here where we started our front panel. In this next stitch, we will attach the yarn.
then I usually just tie a knot just to make sure. And then we do one single crochet all the way across. So just one single crochet all the way across. And at the end, we do a single crochet in the final stitch just before the first one on the front panel. And then again, without doing a chain, you just turn the work. And skip the first stitch and then move on to the second and do your single crochet. So again, we will be decreasing for every row. Just work your way back and forth and turn without a turning chain. So again, you will decrease just like the front panel. So the front panel and the back panel will be exactly the same. So you continue like this until you only have 25 stitches left to go up here. When we're all done and we have the front side and the back side, exactly the same and we have our 25 stitches on top we will now make the straps so you still have your loop over here and just where you finished you will now chain one and turn the work so you didn't chain one all the way up, but now you chain one and then you turn. And then you skip this chain. You skip this chain and then you single crochet in the first or sorry, in the second. So do a single crochet. And then another single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, a single crochet. Then you chain one and then you turn again. Then you skip your turning chain and do a single crochet in the next one. And then a single crochet in the next two stitches. And then chain one, turn the work. Skip your turning chain, do a single crochet. One, two, three. And then you chain one and turn. So now you see the little thin strap over here then you continue back and forth three single crochet then chain one turn and so on until your straps are long enough then when they are you just take your hook and pull it through of course you first cut the yarn i did 73 rows for this strap let me see the measurements. Whoops. About 31 centimeters for the strap. And then I did another one. So I have a strap on each side. I will now attach the strap to the other side of the top. So thread your needle and we have the strap here on the back side. You take it and make sure it doesn't twist and put it right there on the front side of the top. Whoops. Again, make sure it doesn't twist. 
and then sew it on. I will just secure the yarn on the first one on the strap and then take the first three stitches down here and sew it on. And then we have the strap, the, this strap attached. Then you of course make another strap, just like it, 73 rows or whatever long straps you want. And then you attach this one to this side on the back. And then you have your straps attached. And after that, we're pretty much done with the top. I will just do the finishing touches which will be a row of single crochet all the way at the edge of the top because you see this edge is not that uh, finished looking. So I will grab the yarn again and then find uh, down the armpit and then I will attach the yarn. tie a knot then chain one to begin with and then all the way up the side here I will do one single crochet for every row so just insert the hook and do a single crochet and then one single crochet for every row all the way around and this is how it looks you see it's much nicer than the other edge which were kind of bumpy you can see this on the other side not that pretty but this it has a lot more finished look when you're all the way at the top and you want to move on to the strap we only slip stitch instead of single crochet in on the strap because we don't want the strap to be any wider and the single crochet was would just make it too wide so instead of single crocheting you will just slip stitch to so insert your hook and there's just yarn over pull through a bad start sorry insert your hook yarn over Pull through, pull through. Insert your hook on the next row. Yarn over, pull through, pull through. So we are still making uh, the edge look like this, but we will not be making it any wider. So just a slip stitch all the way around the strap. And when you make it over here, you just continue down the edge with single crochet. Do an edge all the way around also on the other side and in front and on the back side with single crochet and slip stitches on the straps. And finally when we are all the way around and secured all the ends and weaved in the ends we are done with this top. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.